Hi, this is Steve Scott, the Houston Business Coach, and thank you for joining me. Many years ago, uh, I had a client, and he brought me into his business, and the business was doing well, but it was one of those situations where you felt it was on the verge of really doing better and having, I'd say, a huge breakthrough, but for some reason it wasn't. And one of the things about this particular owner, he was a nice man, except he had a total fixation on expenses and money. And what would happen is, even though he had like 15 employees, he had somebody in charge of purchasing. I remember being in there one day for a coaching session, and his purchasing manager came in and said, this is, we're going to be buying some paper clips. Now, I mean, back then, a box of paper clips was like 89 cents. And his response to her was, make sure you got the best price. She said, well, we've always been going to Office Depot. They give us a discount. He said, well, just check around. You know, Maybe you can find it cheaper. Anyway, here's what was going on. This is when uh, fax machines were converting from thermal to plain paper. Uh, printers were improving. Do you think he bought the new technology? No, because it was too expensive. So his employees couldn't be as productive as they would like, and also they absolutely began to resent the way he looked at money. The money was there, but he just wouldn't spend it. So anyway, one day, and we were probably about a year into our coaching relationship, I came in, nice fellow, generally very upbeat. He's got his head in his hands, and he just doesn't even want to look up from the desk. But he looks up, and he's almost crying. And I just sit there and I wait. And he says, Steve, he says, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my daughter. Now, his daughter at the time was a junior in high school, straight-A student, worked a job, not because she had to, and he gave her $20 a week allowance. Now, you'd say, what's wrong with the picture? Here's what was going on. When he gave her the allowance, he didn't like the way she spent her money. Matter of fact, she had two or three rock groups that she really, really liked. And she would buy the CDs of these rock groups and maybe some other things. And he was always so disapproving of what she did with her money. And imagine having a teenager, teenager and I thought this was a great situation, that is never asking you for money. I mean, she didn't even ask for the allowance. She was doing fine just with what she had, and she was saving money from her other job. But anyhow, she had told him the night before I saw him that she no longer wanted him in her life. She had had it. And then as the story unfolded, his wife didn't want to have anything to do with him either. So what, what do we do? Well, we talked about it. We collaborated. This is not where you're trying to fix something. Somebody has to come up with their own solution. And he couldn't think of anything. So one of the things you do in coaching is you hold somebody accountable. And I said, look, it's a Tuesday. I'll tell you what, this is something that you and I agree needs to be addressed right away. So how about having something by Thursday? He said, that's good. He said, I really appreciate it. I said, just call me. Let's talk about it. Anyhow. This was Tuesday. He calls me up on Wednesday night, okay, before Thursday. I could tell his whole attitude was different. What had changed? It turned out he'd gotten on the internet, and this was back in the late 90s, early, uh, or I'd say around 2000. He'd gotten on the internet, and what he did is he bought two tickets to a concert that this rock group was going to be performing at of all places, the Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion in the Woodlands where they lived. So what he'd done is, as he was telling the story, he went and bought the tickets. And when he came home Wednesday night, he said, I was in the best mood I'd been in in years. And he said, matter of fact, we sat down at the dinner table, my wife, my daughter, and myself. And she goes, Dad, what's wrong with you? And my wife said, are you leaving me? In other words, they just weren't used to seeing this, you know. But anyway, I said, after dinner, I just want to have a talk. Everything is great. So anyway, after dinner, he says to his daughter, he said, here, I've bought two tickets for you to go to this uh, rock concert. And she was just like speechless. And she said, oh, Dad, you don't have to go with me. He said, no, 
I want you to take a friend, and here's $20 to buy soft drinks, popcorn, whatever it is you want. His daughter ran up to him, hugged him, started to cry. He said, I started to cry. And then he said, I turned to my wife, and he said, you know, we've been married almost 20 years. I know you refuse to go out to dinner with me anywhere, because he would sit there, and he would always worry, should the tip be 10%, 12%, 15%, 18%? He said, we're going out to dinner here tomorrow night. And he said, no longer am I going to have anything to do with the tip. You just do whatever you think's right, and I'm going to fully support you. She ran over, put her arms around him, and they were such a happy family. It was, it was just one of those breakthrough moments. Anyhow, here's how it applied to his business. This was the opening where we could start talking about how to spend money in his business. We did. We started upgrading systems, equipment, processes. His business absolutely took off. And ultimately, he retired and moved out of state. But the point being, money is a tool. And how we choose to use it or how we choose to look at it will have a profound influence on the quality of our relationships and the quality of our life. So once again, take a look at how you're looking at money, and use it wisely, be wise, and be happy. This is Steve Scott, the Houston Business Coach, and thank you for joining us.